Visit West Papua, Indonesia's favourite copper mine. I mean colony. I mean territory. Home to idyllic islands, virgin rainforests, indigenous folks, the mighty fuck fuck. But most importantly, the biggest copper and gold mine in the world. Which is why here at the Australian government, we've done everything we can to help our mates beat the living fuck fuck out of those indigenous folks so that our other mates can come in and start making the ching ching. Because if anyone knows how to colonise an island, mine the shit out of it and leave the natives with breadcrumbs. It's us, West Papua. A Dutch colony until 1961 when Papuans raised the Morning Star flag. Only to be colonised the following year by Indonesia. The world was outraged. Nah, just kidding. Zero fucks were given and the UN rubber stamped the act of free choice. A sham election in which a bunch of hand-picked Papuans with guns pointed at their heads voted to become part of Indonesia. Australia was there to help too. Remember when two Papuans tried to flee to the UN to expose this bullshit? We prevented them from ever getting there by detaining them on Manus Island. Manus Island. Where we still betray refugees to this day. Today, Australia is proud to continue its fine tradition of complicity in West Papua. Here we are chilling with the guy who said the hitmen who assassinated the Papuans leader are heroes. Although we helped train and arm those heroes, so we deserve some credit too. Meanwhile, Papuans are enjoying the benefits of Indonesian colonisation. Like being the poorest people in the country, despite living on one of the most resource-rich lands on Earth. Not to mention decades of murder, rape, disappearances, Torture. Torched villages. Which thankfully you never hear about since reporters and human rights groups are banned from West Papua. Where nothing says unity and diversity like throwing Papuans in jail for raising their own flag. Or like pushing them off their lands to make room for plantations. Annihilating their rainforests. And contaminating their lands with this giant tumour. Which is serviced by massive shipments from Cairns. Cairns. The Aussie town supplying West Papua's Death Star with all its operational needs. It's all part of our Stufu policy. We ask all Aussies to embrace Tufu. Because even though Indonesia is our largest recipient of foreign aid, and even though we spend millions of your tax dollars training their soldiers and dining their war criminals, at the end of the day, we're Indonesia's bitch. Which is why we have to apologise to them every time someone here mentions West Papua. Visit West Papua, the country you never even knew we were helping to fuck fuck. Authorised by the department for never mentioning... Shh.